Hey, what's going on RC drivers? Welcome back to the channel. Today, switching things up a little bit, I am outside to tell you about a boat. It's the Traxxas Spartan. It's the newest version of the Traxxas Spartan. It's been out for a really long time, but it is a great boat and they have a new color scheme on it, which is very, very cool. I actually don't have a Spartan. Uh, I've got an M41. Always wanted a Spartan, drove a, a couple of friends Spartan boats, and they are really, really awesome. So why don't we take a closer look at it before I take it out into the water. And here's the boat itself. This thing looks killer. Traxxas did an awesome job on this new scheme. Now there's actually two different color schemes for this boat. There's this orange and blue, and then there's a purple and orange as well. But this one I think is really gonna pop on the water. I'm really liking it. I think it looks pretty rad. So anyway, like I said, the Traxxas Spartan has been out for quite some time. It is a deep V boat. It's a uh, electric boat, obviously brushless, and uh, it handles really, really well. Uh, I've, I've driven a number of them. So let's take a closer look at uh, the bottom of the hull before I go into uh, you know the inside of it. There are the strakes on the bottom that help with the speed and stability of this boat. Uh, it's a ABS style hull, so uh, it's a two piece hull actually and um they join it right here the joint seam is really nice uh you know you can barely see that it's there and the hole itself is is pretty rigid so you know you squeeze down it. there is a little bit of flex but i mean that's what you get in an abs hull uh but you know they have some flotation on the inside the canopy is is clipped on in the rear and uh it's it's really simple i mean you just pull it out of the box and you're you're really ready to go with one of these boats all right so let's turn this thing around so i could show you what's going on in the rear and uh here are our trim tabs and turn fins uh they're not knife edged and uh, you can go and bend the, the trim tab here to adjust the, the right attitude of the boat uh but you know they're pretty basic and they they do get the job done then moving over to uh the business side of things here is our strut and this is machined from aluminum so the brackets are aluminum the strut uh, housing is aluminum uh it's got a brass bushing in there and inside of it is a flex drive cable out to the the rear prop shaft support here and then we got a plastic prop and uh, an m7 nut to to retain that so it's easy to swap out props and they actually give you an extra prop in the kit uh, let's see, everything is nice and sealed. Uh, we've got a nylon stuffing tube in there that I can see. And then uh, up top here, we've got a rubber boot coming out to the steering linkage. Your steering linkage is really nice on this thing. Uh, they do have uh, you know this captured rod end, which I really like basically off of one of their off-road vehicles. So really nice stout uh, steering linkage on this. As you can see, the rudder and bracket are aluminum as well, nicely blue anodized. We've got a bushing in there to uh, you know support the, the pin that goes through the rudder. And then the rudder is knife edged. So uh, that uh, will definitely cut down on the drag there. And then the water pickup is located in uh, the rudder as well. And that goes up into the inside of the boat to water cool the electronics. But here's another thing to note on this all the stainless steel hardware throughout that's really nice that uh you know there's no steel hardware it's not going to rust all right so to hold on the hatch here just a simple body clip really easy to access then we get inside the boat and inside the boat here i've already put my uh, traxxas power cell batteries you're gonna have to pick those up along with a charger but everything else that you see comes in this so we've got the long can 540 motor uh, water cooled goes to a coupler that uh, attaches to that flex shaft that i mentioned before uh, and then right behind it is you're getting into more electronics not much inside of a boat so we got a vxl 6s marine speed controller uh, by castle creations a little partnership there so you know you've got a good quality speed controller we got the id plugs on there uh, so those made up perfectly with the power cells and then right behind it is the receiver and uh you know that's in a box so it's nice and waterproof and then right behind that is the steering servo it is a 2056 steering servo uh you know high torque and basically a standard servo but it does the job pretty well and then i just want to point out to you guys the battery compartments here so we've got a lot of foam pads for the batteries to sit on and uh, you go you could go and adjust the position of the batteries depending on how you want the boat to ride in the water so a lot of adjustment there uh, one more thing to note is the cradle that uh, secures everything in the center so you go pull this out as one module and uh, just makes maintenance a lot easier on the boat some foam flotation in the front uh, there is our water exit on the side and now also with the kit is a tqi radio system and uh, this is one of uh, the 
better Traxxas radio systems that they have to offer. You can go and put a link module in there if you want to. Also in the box, you get your manual and some tools and grease for maintenance. All right, guys, I think it's time to run this thing. Let's go. All right, guys, I've already been ripping around the Spartan and this thing is quick. Definitely love the speed of this. Now I have this set up with the batteries all the way forward. Uh, I tried it in the rear and you definitely get some more speed out of it, but uh, it starts to prop walk a little bit, kind of wag. So it's definitely more stable with the batteries up front. But you can see this thing is pretty quick. I can't really open it up. That's full throttle. And uh, these packs probably have about you know, half of their life left on them, maybe a little less because I've been ripping this thing around. Just gotta roll back on that. Heard it catch some air. Heard that prop spool up. Oh, and we're out. I guess there was less power in there. All right, let me swap out batteries. We'll drive it a little bit more. So we're back. I, I got new packs in here and I've placed them in the middle. Here we're at half throttle. I'm just gonna ramp this thing up, see how it goes. Yeah, I think it's a little wild. You can only imagine if you put the battery packs all the way in the back of this thing. You can kind of see it swaying and wagging there. A little prop walk, I think. There we go. That was a nice pass. Wagged a little bit. Oh, blow over and into the woods. So that was pretty wild. It caught some air under there. Let's see what happened to this thing. Looks like it's just caught up in the weeds here. Uh, hopefully we got no damage, but that was a pretty wild ride. Oh, stuck. We're stuck. We definitely got some weeds in the prop. There we go. It's looking good. Looks like it's ready to go back out there. All right, so while I had it out of the water, I moved the batteries all the way forward, or almost all the way forward. They're about a half an inch from the front. And uh, I actually turned up the strut. So it's pointed a little up from where it was uh, stock. It pointed straight out basically out of the box. And I tweaked the turn fins just a tad down. Hopefully that stables it. Makes it a little more stable and uh, I can keep the speeds up on it. So let's see how it does. That was a nice pass. Nice. Got a little air under it. Get that speed up. I'm also on the rudder a little bit because it's a you know curved pond so that might account for a little bit of the wag but all right let's go the other direction now and it's important to back off let everything cool down let the water get in there we got some air under there that was pretty awesome there we go pretty stable i think i like this setup and what's pretty cool is you can play with the setup on it. But uh, you know, right out of the box, definitely start with the battery pack in the mid, or actually forward, I think, just to get used to the boat. This boat is a lot of fun. Now I know why so many people like this boat. All right, guys, I think that's enough. I just remembered that this boat has TSM in it, which is Traxxas Stability Management, so I wanted to take it out for one more quick test. All right, so here's how you adjust the, the TSM on there. It comes set at zero. I think we could turn it down some more. Let's just see how it works right now. This is the way it's been. All right, I want to turn it all the way down. All right, let's see. Whoa, I think I like it much better without the TSM. Let me turn this thing around. There's, I can see a stick here. I don't want to hit that stick with the prop. 
All right, here we go again. Yeah, um, I like it without the TSM. I think it stops that dancing around I was talking about before. Kept mentioning a wag, but I think that was it. I think the TSM was kicking in and, and making the, the rear of this thing wag. Yeah, that's it, guys. That was it. But now this thing's a rocket. This thing is pretty awesome. I love this boat. Yeah, look at that. Definitely, definitely uh, turn back on the TSM. Don't even use it, in my opinion. Not sure why they put it in, but it is money. Look at that. Oh, so much better. It's another hot day here in the Northeast, but you know what made up for it? Driving the tracks of Spartan. I mean, that thing is a blast. No wonder a lot of people love that boat. It's fast, it's fun, it steers well, and uh, I crashed a couple times and it's still unscathed. So it's a pretty cool boat. Now, what I learned from driving it was, is you know, when you first take it out of the box, you're ready to go, put the batteries towards the front. That gives it the most stability. That will give you a chance to learn how to drive the boat. And then when you want a bit more speed out of it, that's when you start moving the batteries back. And you might have to make some other tweaks too, like maybe reposition the strut. You know, I know there's a lot of people out there that love the Spartan boat and hopefully, uh, you know, you guys are watching, those of you that have it. So if you have the perfect setup for a Traxxas Spartan, please put it in the comments section below. I love to learn what people are doing to it. You know, again, this is my first time out with the boat. Yeah, I ran a bunch of batteries through it, but uh, you know, I want to know how to get this thing completely dialed in because I think it's going to just be insane. And I know it's going to be insane. I've seen them before, but uh, you know, this thing is killer. It's a very good deal. Uh, you know, no overheating issues. The only you know, issues that I want to point out to you guys is, is one, you know, check your setup, make sure your, your setup is right. But two, when you crash it, uh, I, I popped the hatch off the top and luckily it's clipped in the rear, but it did blow off. So I had to go bringing the boat in, dump out the water, put the, uh, the canopy, excuse me, the canopy back on and, uh, you know, go back out again. So that's a little bit of a bummer that that happens. Maybe that tab in the front needs to be a little bit, a little bit longer in the canopy. Uh, and then the other thing that I wanted to point out is it does get a lot of water in there. Uh, a lot of water goes up and over the boat and there's no seal there. So you got to dump out water a lot. So, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a pain. You got, it's something you have to do. There's no plug in the back. There's some holes in the top of the deck. So when you flip it over, it, the water dumps out there. Uh, but other than that, it's a great boat. It's really easy to use, uh, especially if you're uh, if you have you know the Traxxas batteries, Traxxas charger. You just plug it in and go. But it is a fast, fun boat. Whether you're just in a small pond or a, a big lake, take it out on a real boat with you. It's a very cool boat for all that. You know, and it handles anywhere from smooth water to rough water uh, pretty well. So awesome job, Traxxas. Definitely love the new look of it, and I'm gonna be driving this boat some more. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, the notifications bell, throw the video a like, and we'll see you back soon for some more RC Driver videos.